Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Houghton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download and install Paint.net. Yes, Paint.net is pretty much an awesome program that's used for photo manipulations of applications from Windows platforms. It's also a very cool program because it has so many different add-ons and stuff like that that you can do on there. Um, I'll probably just give you some links probably about some people who have made videos to show you how to do them. Or where you can get the add-ons for it. Or eventually I'll probably just make some videos also to show you how to do it too later on. But for the rest I'm just going to be showing you how to install this program. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you do is go ahead and open up a browser. Um, you can pretty much go to Google Chrome. That's what I'm going to use. And you can go to the site, and you'll think that the site will be like paint.net, but actually it's not. It's actually you have to go to get paint.net to get to their site. Once you get to there, there's the options right on the right corner, and you can click paint.net. Now on Windows 10, you can select it on Windows. You can choose the download just for Windows 10 itself, and that takes us to the site that you can purchase it right here. You see $6.99, but we don't want to pay for that. What we're going to do instead is going to choose the download now version right here. And then once it comes up, you're going to see on the right corner again, I'll say paint.net 4.2.10 and click it. And here comes the zip folder of it right here. Alrighty, the program is finally finishing. And let's just open it up. I'm going to go ahead and exit up the browser because I don't need it anymore. If you have a different program on probably using 7-Zip or WinRAR, then you don't have to extract it the same way. And you'll just extract all. And it's going to extract it there in download. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. And here's the folder that contains the paint.net. What you're going to do is go ahead and click it. And you'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press yes. You will need how to allow this for this program to get installed. And it already starts doing its work for it. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that out. And here's the installation process right here. So if you want to do the express or the custom, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as express and just press next. And it has the one full license agreement. So we're going to leave it as is and go ahead and continue. Agree. And we'll need that to install this program. And now allow paint.net to be installed. So it's optimizing paint. Next performance for your system might take a minute. See how long it actually takes. It shouldn't take too long. And here's the program finally finished right here. It's already checked right there. If you want to start the program, I'm going to go ahead and press finish. So if you want to donate, that'll be awesome if you want to help them out. And I'm going to go ahead and press finish and allow the program to load up. So here's the program, paint.net. This is how it comes out right here. When you come up to that point, you can press open and you can select a photo if you have one, wherever you have it at. And then you'll be able to start editing. It has lots of cool features for it. I'm not going to go into too depth. You can probably search it out from the web from other YouTube videos out there. There's also some cool features right here that I probably will probably make videos down here is called effects because there's regular effects right here that it has that can make your photos can be edited. But it's also videos you can do add-ons right here that can do some even crazy things on there too. You'll probably find them on YouTube already. But that's pretty much it. And you usually see these icons right here. Sometimes you actually have a habit of Xing these out. If you do X them, you just come on the top right and you can re-enable them again. And that's pretty much it. Right here, if you want to save it, I'm going to press don't save. And that should be good. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.